This is CEO Akbar Al Baker. He's not a happy man these days. This is Airbus CEO Gilyum Faré. He too is not a happy man these days. And this, well, this is a brand new Airbus state-of-the-art carbon composite A350 aircraft. Over the past 15 months or so, these two men and their respective companies have been engaged in a very public battle of accusations and mudslinging. This, well, these are also pictures of a new A350. And no, it's not supposed to look like that. And that's why these men and their companies have been feuding. But this week, this man may have landed a stunning blow to this man when Airbus canceled and revoked a separate Qatar Airways $6 billion new aircraft order for 50 brand new A321 jets. Confused? Well, you won't be. Because I'm going to clear it up for you. Next on Maximus. Greetings everybody, Maximus here. So as you may know if you follow the channel, the battle between Qatar Airways and Airbus has been heating up lately, and we've been keeping up with it here as well. However, for those of you that may not be up to date, let's take a minute to recap what got Qatar Airways and Airbus to where they are today. It all started in November of 2020, when an Airbus A350 was removed from service to be repainted in Shannon, Ireland. During the removal of the surface paint, it was discovered that the jet suffered from an accelerated surface degradation. So Airbus sent engineers to Ireland to inspect the aircraft and then recommended that it be sent to Airbus facility in Toulouse, France for further investigation. The repairs proposed by Airbus involved some 900 patches to different parts of the aircraft. However, Qatar Airlines said that vastly exceeded what would be considered a normal handful of repairs. Then in August of 2021, 10 months after the first damaged A350 was discovered, 13 more A350s in Qatar's fleet were found to have the same accelerated skin degradation problems under the paint. The damage was deemed so severe by the Qatari aviation regulator that they ordered Qatar to ground the planes indefinitely citing passenger safety concerns until Airbus can come up with a solution. But in response, Airbus said that while the paint problems may be unsightly, it is not a risk to passenger safety. But Qatar contends that Airbus hasn't conducted a proper full root cause analysis of the problem, meaning it isn't possible to design and implement a permanent or durable repair of the airframe. So Qatar refused to take delivery of the nearly two dozen A350s still on order. Then in December of 2021, they grounded 21 more of their A350s, claiming this in fact was a passenger safety risk. Okay, so then in December, Airbus let it be known that they were looking into suing Qatar Airways for slandering their good name by claiming the Airbus A350 was dangerous. However, before Airbus could in fact decide if they wanted to sue Qatar Airways or not, Qatar beat them to it and filed a $618 million lawsuit in January of this year in London against Airbus for compensation. Plus, they are asking for a further $4.2 million for each day the aircraft continued to remain idle. But Airbus continues to steadfastly deny the claim by Qatar that the jet is dangerous. Reiterating that the European Union Aviation Safety Agency has found no airworthiness issue with the aircraft. Okay, so now that we're all caught up, that brings us to this week and the monster move that Airbus made. In a move almost unheard of in the highly competitive ongoing battle between Airbus and Boeing, Airbus, the largest aircraft manufacturer in the world, announced that they have revoked, scrapped, or canceled, if you will, a separate $6 billion contract with Qatar Airways for 50 of the smaller A321 Neo jets Qatar planned to use on their new shorter routes. Airbus revealed that it was walking away from the contract for the A321 Neos in pre-trial arguments presented during a scheduling session over the A350 dispute at a division of Britain's High Court on Thursday, January 21st. Following the revelation in court, an Airbus spokesman said, 
We confirm we did terminate the contract for 50 A321s with Qatar Airways in accordance with our rights. But Qatar Airways is expected to fight the A321neo contract's termination. Having said it plans to take delivery of the jets even though it's refusing to take more A350s until the dispute over surface erosion on the larger planes has been resolved. The airline said in a court filing that it was working through the practical consequences of the A321 decision, adding that Airbus was not entitled to declare a cross default on the basis of Qatar's refusal to take more A350s in the main dispute. Qatar's first A321neo was due to be delivered in February of 2023 according to the airline's filing. When asked for the reasoning behind the stunning cancellation, Airbus said it was taking the next step in canceling a separate deal to supply Qatar with 50 smaller A321 jets. The deal, which was completed in December of 2017, was advertised as having a combined sticker value of $6.35 billion. Qatar Airways called Airbus's decision to scrap the agreement a matter of considerable regret and frustration. So there you have it. Now you are all caught up on the latest news on the ongoing feud between Airbus and Qatar Airlines. What do you think? Who's right? Who's wrong? Do you have an opinion? Let me know down below. Well, that's going to wrap it up for now. As always, thanks for stopping by. And on your way out, please be sure to comment, like, subscribe, share, and ring the bell. And remember, leave the rubber on the runway and your troubles on the ground. And I will see you next time in the air. Yeah, this is Maximus. <laughs>